love Skipper. She is one of the coolest teenage dolls Mattel has come out with and we really like her but Skipper can get really boring after a while because her body is so limited. She's got hardly any mobility. She doesn't have bending knees. She's got those, those hard plastic <laughs> legs that don't want to move and she doesn't really have that much articulation. So most of us love Skipper but sometimes we want some diversity like I do and I came up with a solution for you guys who are tired of Skipper looking like a preteen. I want my Skipper to look more like an older teen, maybe 17, 18, 19 years old. She's old enough to drive a car and you know, it fits that sarcastic personality that we imagine she has for her to be a little bit older. So here's what I am going to show you how to do. I'm gonna make her look older. What you need is your Skipper doll. You are going to need an adult Barbie body. I already um, took the head off of this one, as you can see. So she doesn't have a head, and this doll body has articulation. So this is like a fashionista style body here. And we're going to give her a body transplant. So all you need to do, don't be afraid to pop off your skipper's head. You just have to grab her by the chin down here and hold her steady. Don't just like pull because sometimes you can damage the doll that way. So hold her here under the chin and then just kind of twist her head like that. Pops off. I cut off this part here that stuck out really far like this one does. Uh, so that's why it's short like that. But yours will probably be longer and you'll have to kind of maneuver her around. But she, her head will come off and it'll be safe to take her head off. And then, now you have to take the head and put her back onto a larger body. So all you need to do is stick her head and stick this plastic part into the hole in her head. The hole in her head is a little small, but you're just gonna have to use some force and jam it in there and it will fit. This piece is just plastic. It's okay if it like moves around and stuff, nothing's gonna happen. So you just stick this in there. It's a little loose and then you just keep pushing until you get the whole joint inside that little hole. So you have to push, 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 push. And and then once it's kind of in there a little, you keep going until you can get the bottom of her neck, the hole there, over the top of the actual neck. And then that way she can pivot like this and her head won't fall off. Then you just fix her back up because she looks like she got into a fight. And now Skipper looks like the half-grown young lady she wants to be and now she doesn't look like she'll get in trouble if she goes out clubbing now look at all of this movement and articulation you get when you switch her body even if she only had the rubber legs that snap and bend it's like so much more mobility than what she comes with so I do this with my skipper dolls I just think that they look better on the adult bodies because they still have a young face and she can definitely pass for like 17, 18. Now here's an example of another skipper that I rebodied. She's on a live doll body. Look at the difference between a live doll teenager body and a regular skipper doll teenager body. You can tell there's a huge difference in how they appear. I mean, live doll just seems like a more mature body, I don't know. Probably because her chest is bigger and her hips are a little bit wider. So this is, for me, just the way that I like for my skippers to look. They don't look, you know, crazy with the bigger bodies. Their heads fit nicely onto the neck and they're just more fun this way. So now my skipper can have a real life and gesture and do all the stuff that fits her personality. And the reason why these two skippers look very different from each other is actually because I modified them. I didn't do a full repaint on them because I do like skipper's face and I didn't, I didn't really want to do that with these dolls. But if you look closely, she's got freckles 
and I uh, repainted a little bit of her eye makeup and her lips and she has a little bit of enhancement on her eye makeup and some uh, a beauty mark there on her face so I just altered them a little so they would look different from each other and this Skipper doll to me she looks actually quite Asian so I actually pretend that she's Korean because she looks Korean to me and then here's another fun thing you can do with your headless skipper body okay so here is my my BBB Barbie blonde hair blue-eyed boring Barbie um, I didn't like the body that she was already on because her head just seemed ridiculously small for her body I don't I don't know it just looks weird it didn't look like it fit her and her face if you look at it her face just looks very young she doesn't look like she's older than like 15 maybe I don't know I think her, her face just could pass for very young she doesn't look like in her 20s to me so just as an experiment I switched her onto this little skipper body just wanted to see how she would look and I did the same thing with this as I did with the skipper when I put her onto the big body but now that she's on the skipper body she looks like a young teenage girl and I think this body actually suits her a lot better than the grown body that she came on for some reason my cameraman today is Jinu I think he's doing a pretty decent job he's usually in front of the camera but now he's behind it so that's pretty cool uh, check out Genu on Fun with Genu on YouTube. That's his channel, Fun with Genu. Anyways, so this is just another way that I recycled this headless body and this bodiless head. And now she's not so boring because she's just different than what she already came as. And even though she doesn't have the articulation, for this, I don't really care because it just gives a little bit more diversity to the whole skipper thing. So. I like this version of this doll. Anyway, so there's really cool ways that you can modify your dolls and use your imagination to play with them different ways and pose them in different ways. And until Mattel decides to come out with some more variations of skipper sized dolls, I guess this is what we're going to have to do. <laughs> so I hope this helps somebody figure out how to spruce up their skipper dolls.